Hello, men, women, children, people of all ages. This is a tutorial for how to record telephone conversations on your Magic Jack. You're just going to need a piece of software. Uh, you can actually do it with your phone plugged in to the Magic Jack as usual and use your phone as the recording device, or you can configure it for a headset. I think the headset's a much better option. Uh, it, it, it just works best for me as you can, as you'll see uh, so basically a headset consists of a pair of headphones and a microphone connected together if you haven't seen them you know the ones that people wear uh, you know at these call centers or whatever you see them with their microphone connected to their headphones they're cheap you can get them for 10 maybe 20 bucks at the most they have two attachments on it one plugs into your headphone socket and the other plugs into your microphone socket so I would suggest getting that, but if you don't want to, you can use a phone, but I'm going to concentrate on the headset for this one. So uh, what I do is I uh, see this picture of the Magic Jack here. I use the extension cable that they gave me. So I plug this end here into the Magic Jack and then that into the computer. And it just the less stress from having to pull in and out of the, uh, of the Magic Jack itself into the USB port, I've actually went through a couple. Uh, they're not their best made things, but they work well uh, when, when configured properly. Okay, so what you need is you need some software. We're going to use the same software that I'm making this video with. Uh, I believe it's called NCH is the maker of it. And this is called Debut Video Capture Software. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our web browser. We're going to go to Google, and then we're going to Google search Debut video capture software okay so we do that and we want to select the one in, where in the, the actual address says nch software okay and it's the second one on google.com okay so here's the page uh, it gives you several options we want to record for computer screen that's a software we want so we take that and we save it and we just save it to your desktop. I always save my files there and then I do what I want with them from there. It's, I find it the best way. Um, you always know where your file is and it doesn't get lost. And this is for people who, who, you know what I mean, who lose files and so forth. Always save it to your desktop. It's the easiest place. And then you can put it somewhere from there and then you'll know where you've put it. Uh, sometimes the default locations can be tricky to get to. So save this to your desktop. Then what you're going to want to do is once it's on your desktop right click on the file it'll look at the uh, debut setup right click on it and just scan it with your antivirus a piece of mine. it's clean I've scanned it with several uh, malware including malware bytes <coughs> and I've also scanned it with uh, uh, trend micro and I've scanned it with uh, ESET internet security so it's good to go and I have installed it it has four programs I believe that you can pick from I took the capture software that we're using right now and I took the video uh, file converter. So basically when we're done this video you can convert it with this other software here. I'll just launch it. Um, you would add the file and it would come up here and you select your output format. If you want to do YouTube you can do it as is or you can do it with the FLV it's a little bit quicker or um, MP3. Just do it to an mp3 file and you've got the phone call on mp3 you ever want to put it on a disk or whatever it's there to go okay but that's not really what it's about there's a couple of the other programs uh, but no I don't want to do them so okay so once your uh, once your software is installed the video capture software you're gonna have to go in and um, this is what it, sorry that's that's not the right one excuse me that'll come into play in a minute here this is what the interface looks like <coughs> excuse me it's very simple it's very easy uh, there's a row up here in the tabs you've got file edit and help basically the only things we're going to need to use well, are, are you want to make sure that the screen here is selected or we're doing recordings of our screen and you also want to go into options okay so when you click on options uh, this window will come up I can't click on options because I'm doing a live video as we speak. So uh, this this will come up under devices. You don't click webcam. You don't click network camera. You want screen capture, last load selection, audio, and everything except for mouse clicks. 
okay and you want to make sure that if you have multiple uh, microphones on your computer just make sure it's the one selected with the headphones the, the high definition uh, set it as default in your uh, system mixer uh, that might make it easier uh, just make sure you have it selected and configured properly and then all you have to do is go to the next one the output tab and you want to save the destination folder make up a folder I made one over here on my desktop called desktop recordings if you don't know how to make a folder you just right click on your desktop and select new folder whoops new folder and you can name it whatever you want okay and if the name goes away just right click and rename it to whatever you want again okay so it's that simple so I've made my file in this desktop recordings okay so when we have that all done and ready to go basically what you're going to do once we get the magic tech in to do a recording and once this part set you just click on the record button at very first a box will pop up and say once you click on this button it will minimize so it'll get rid of this screen and it will be recording the screen won't be in your way so once you click record it'll go down like that so then you need your magic jack you plug your magic jack in and get it ready okay mine's mine's already ready it's here the only thing you need to do here is if you're going to use your phone you want to make sure that it's switched to telephone if you're going to use a headset you want to switch to headset and that's what we're using so I'm going to show you how to configure it so that we've got the headset on you need to go menu and need to the volume headset control make sure that the headset is selected these are all in and your volumes are all full and then you're ready to go just simply we're just going to make a call um, let's just call anywhere uh, says it might be I'm in Canada, so. Hi, Graphics. Yes, is uh, Davey there? Who? Davey? Davey? Yes. I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I apologize. No problem. Merci, au revoir. Yeah, she was French, so. Anyhow, uh, so that's it. That's really it. That's all you have to do. Once you've done, if you want to do another recording, you can leave it a call, you can leave it recording. If you want to separate them, just go back into your program and press stop. Once you press stop, that ends your video, obviously, and it will save it to your folder. And then down here by the clock, a little balloon will pop up. And it will say, open your recording now, and that's the best way to do it. You don't have to go to your, click on your folder. Click on the balloon and your video will pop up in Windows Media Player or whatever you have for default and then you're ready to roll and ultimately if it's something that you really need uh, as an mp3 just go into this video converter software and convert your video I'll show you now that uh, actually I don't have a video in there but I can always do that later so anyhow if you have any questions or you have any comments just leave them and ask or send me a message uh, I just hope it helps it's kind of a cool feature and uh, I, I hope you guys enjoy it okay uh, best of luck and kick some iron.